Hi there, students. Smolder. To smolder as a verb. Notice, in British English, we spell it S-M-O-U-L-D-E-R. But the Americans spell it without the U. S-M-L-O. S-M-L-O-L-D-E-R. Okay? And you can also have an adjective, smouldering. To smoulder means to burn without flames and giving off little smoke. So the fireman extinguished the fire, but it continued to smoulder for several days. All that was left of the city was smouldering ruins. So if something smoulders, this is a slow, suppressed combustion. I built a big fire and in the morning it was still smouldering. OK, so to burn slowly. But we more commonly use this verb figuratively. It means that something exists in a suppressed state or a repressed state, especially emotion. Resentment smoldered, smoldered among the civil population after the military coup. His jealousy of his brother continued to smoulder for many years. Passion smoldered beneath his impassive face. The bad blood between them continued to smoulder until finally a fight broke out. So to smoulder, to fester, to simmer, to seethe. Yeah, this is strong emotion below the surface. The litigation, the lawsuits, continued to smoulder on for years before any final settlement was agreed. So anger, hatred, jealousy, passion, smolder. They continue to burn below the surface, but it's repressed or suppressed. Revolutionary feelings smoldered until finally they acted and tried to overthrow the government. So, to smoulder, to burn slowly without flame. The bonfire smouldered for two days. And then a strong repressed feeling. Um, he smouldered with anger for days after losing his job. Bottled up or kept in feelings that can't be released. Notice as well, to smoulder is a regular verb. The, sm the fire smouldered for days. He has smouldered about this problem for years. Now, formality. Well, as the burn meaning, I'd probably give it a five in formality. You can use it anywhere, informal, formal. And then with the figurative meaning, I might give it a six in formality. I think you could use it in an informal conversation. You might say simmered below the surface or something like that. But I think even the figurative meaning is pretty flexible as well. And then the question of origin. Well, in Middle English, there was a word smolder, talking about smoke or smoky vapour. And that itself comes from a proto-West Germanic word, smallijan or smallijan, meaning to burn or to glow. So to smolder, to burn very slowly, to continue onwards, and then to exist for a long time in a suppressed state or a repressed emotion. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To Smolder.